to have this happen here. It's a, it's a good signal to the world uh, how we feel about this region. It's such a vibrant part of America. Uh, I love being here, and I'm happy the game's here. Do you want to get to your talk to well, let's see how this goes. I, I'm, I'm a great supporter of playing this game in all elements. I think the most memorable games we've played up in Foxborough somehow have uh, had either cold weather or snow associated with them. Probably the greatest, greatest game played in the old Foxborough Stadium was the so-called tuck rule game. And, um, you know, it was great, and the ratings were great, and all the fans remember being there. So I'm a big supporter of, of the game here, and I compliment New York, New Jersey, and what they've done. Bob, Roger Goodell, hold on a second. Roger Goodell was asked. Hold on a second. Was asked if uh, he would ever address Native Americans in his face. He didn't really answer what you did. I have all the issues. All I know, it started from Boston, and they moved from Boston to Washington. You know, I think especially in today's world, we want to be careful not to be knowingly disrespectful of anyone. But this issue is way beyond the homework that I'm, I've done on the issue. And, so I, I probably ought to stick to my last. Would you I have say? all I can do. I, I really am not going to talk about that issue. Bob, can you discuss the timetables for getting the Thursday night and the DirecTV deals done? Yeah, well, the Thursday night, uh, we've had some wonderful... Uh, first of all, it's the first time that we are offering. It's probably the last major package for quite some time, and we've... Before, when we've had these negotiations, we always uh, pretty much had packages for everyone who wanted it. This time, we only have one, and uh, the kind of support we've gotten is amazing, and we really want to highlight Thursday night more, and all of our partners have come in, and I hope in the next few weeks we can get this thing finalized and start doing it this upcoming season. And do you, and do you and think the, the DirecTV deal will come fairly soon? I hope so. Yeah, we've been working on that for quite some time, and uh, it's been a great partnership, and I personally hope it continues. Robert, your team has benefited from the first-round buy a lot over the years. There's a proposal to add a playoff team, but it would remove a first-round buy. How do you feel about that? Well, then you got to come in first and not second right. if you want to get the buy. But, uh, you know, it's really unbelievable when you think of this year, I guess, it's the first time in a long time that the two teams seeded number one are playing in the Super Bowl. Um, and, you know, that's something, probably it's a good thing uh, to do, and it'll make the end of the season still, on a numbers basis, more competitive games, and every game will mean more, but... Um, the bye didn't help us this year. I think an argument could be made this season that Tom Brady could be the MVP. And not to take anything away from Peyton, but the question with that is, how many great years do you envision him having left? Well, I hope it doesn't stop for a long time, but to tell you the truth, with all due respect to Tommy, I think this year our team really performed unbelievably. I, I think it might be uh, Bill's... I, I, had the relationship with him for 14 seasons here, and I think what's happened this year, and as the whole season evolved, uh, it's just amazing the coaching job and and the way the whole team came together. And I think we made it to the championship game and really had a chance to win the game, even though Peyton, I mean, he and the whole Broncos team, they played a flawless game. There no turnovers. I don't even think they had a penalty called on them. Uh, so, our team really did function as a team this year, and I'm very proud of them, and I'm proud that the team is so young, and I'm anxiously looking forward to next year. Mr. Robert.